Okay, today we're going to demonstrate for you our Overbeck. Uh, this is a model 600 UR. This is a hydraulic grinder. Uh, there could be an ID attachment installed on it in a future date if you were to find one, but we are offering it only as a external grinder. Now this is a big grinder. This is a 20 inch grinding wheel. Uh, right now that's a 2 inch wide wheel on there. I think it could take a wider wheel, uh, but I am not sure. The bore inside is 8 inches. Your headstock and your tailstock are um, both um, this is a MT3 Morse Taper Center and the headstock is a Morse Taper number 5. Uh, this is a variable speed, it's got a variable speed drive inside so as you rotate this while it's turning you can increase or decrease the RPM there. Uh, you also have a tailstock that you can increase and decrease the tension on, a uh, swiveling tabletop here, and um, the capacity of the machine you have approximately a uh, 10 inch, 10 and a half inch swing. Uh, that's about five and a half inches from the center point to the tabletop. Um, lengthwise, I would say about 24 to 26 inches, depending on the type of tooling you have in there and your drive mechanism. Uh, you can check our quotation for more accurate um, specifications. So the machine is currently wired for 440 volts and uh, we have this enclosure with it. Uh, you can move this to either side. Uh, I think the idea was to keep it in the center or if you'd like you can remove this. Um, over here we have the main uh, hydraulic control portion of the machine. Your on and uh, your control valve, which uh, in one position will bring your slide forward and also start your workhead running. See, as we move this in and out, you have a automatic stroke, then your headstock, and then this would get the table to start, and then finally the last position is your feed. So you see each time we reverse here, we're incrementing. This also has a fine feed dial. If when you get down to zero, the size is wrong, you make adjustment here. You see your adjustment on this center dial against a witness mark. Now, the amount of increment you have here is, is adjustable for your left and your right sides. So if you wanted to decrease one side and increase the other or make them both equal, you can do this here, or you can completely shut one side off so that you only feed on one side. These valves here are control a dwell time on uh, each reversal. This here is your table speed. Let's slow that down with that. And this is the selection knob for whether you're doing incremental grinding like we're doing now or plunge grinding. So it's just about reaching zero here. Once it reaches zero, it comes up against the dead pin and starts to do a spark out time. And as you saw, it kicked out there and the hand went back uh, to the beginning and this uh, switched over. So we're going to show you that one more time. So this is your incremental. We also have uh, a plunge grinding mode. We have to shut the table so it doesn't move. And now we have just a continuous infeed down to zero. And we're going to start our spark out time. The spark out time is adjustable by a potentiometer on the control panel here. Uh, if I wanted to take more material or come further away, I switch the clutch on the side here and then re-engage that. We come in and we start the feed. Now here I can control this feed rate from very slow to very fast. So now we're going to come down to zero. Going to start the spark out time. 
And when the wheel goes back, your headstock is going to stop rotating. And that's the end of the cycle. If you want to come over here, we'll look at a couple of these uh, switches. You have one here for uh, plunge grinding and traverse grinding. You have a clutch for the table. If we wanted to move this table by hand, uh, we have to disengage it from the hydraulic uh, cylinder. So there's a, a clutch that does that. Uh, you don't have to use the spark out, so you can have that either on or off. Uh, this is the coolant pump. This is the grinding wheel on and off. Your headstock on and off. Uh, your indicator light that the machine is running and your you know machine start button this is the first thing you would press after starting up the, the main breaker and of course this is your emergency stop button um, let's see what else I want to say here uh, the ways on this machine uh, the table uh, the longitudinal table as well as the cross slide are both uh, a German the machine is built in Germany and our German type, I don't want to say for sure, but a, 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 a Schneeberger type uh, roller bearing assembly is in the bottom of, is for the, for the table slide, so it's got almost a frictionless movement as well as the cross slide. Uh, it's not a flat and a V. So um, this is a different kind of a system. This is a Overbeck, that's the way they do it. Uh, it's a very accurate, it's a very, very little friction. So there you have it, this is the Overbeck um, the hydraulics are in the back of the machine, the electrical panel is in the back of the machine, you open up two doors and you have plenty of room to work on it. It has a full enclosure, a coolant tank on the side. That's this unit over here. With some baffles or whatnot in there. And also we have some additional tooling that would go with the machine. Here we have a draw bar and a special reduction sleeve that would hold the 5C collet. This would go in the headstock instead of the center. Uh, this would come in from the back and you would put your collet, your 5C collet in there and draw it up with the draw bar. This is very nice to have. You've got a couple of extra centers here, a big bullnose center and a half center for your tailstock. These are all nice carbide, and uh, not a crack on them. There's another brand new center here with another beautiful carbide tip on there. Uh, this is pretty nice stuff. You also have a, um, a test bar. This test bar here has a Morse taper number five to go into the headstock and you could indicate on this to get it exactly straight. Um, the company gives you one of these. Some company manufacturers include this with the machine tool. Um, it's nice to have if you have to find true zero or if you ever wanted to regrind uh, the base of the headstock, you could use that in that operation. Uh, here you have a balancing arbor um, so that you can balance the grinding wheel. This is a big grinding wheel and you probably want to make sure you had it in balance. An extra set of belts for the workhead. So that's a lot of stuff there. And of course, we've got the machine. This is quiet. It's nice. It's well built. It's made in Germany. Um, we have it here. I'm Bob Houghton. This is Machinery Values. Thank you very much.